Hey folks, Lenny Ruta here for Fish Talk Magazine. You know, in Maryland we have some new regulations. I know you all have heard about it. From here on out, you've got to use circle hooks that are non-offset whenever you're chumming or live baiting for rockfish. Now, fortunately, we have Sam here from Musta to help us figure out what is the difference between a offset circle hook and a ho circle hook that's not offset, which is also called inline. Right. Well, basically, the, sh the point is in line with the actual shank. So if you actually see that, it actually is in line. It also makes the tournament legal too for our, for our sailfish tournaments here. So we do carry both styles uh, for people to to to, uh, to pick what they want to use. But if it's the law, it's the law. You have to use the inline. Right. Absolutely. So, and if you look at the packaging here, it has a sailfish sticker on there, and you for sure that's going to be an inline tournament approved hook. And now, obviously it's for you too. Now, Sam, I know you're from Mustad, but I'm gonna put you on the spot. Absolutely. What's the difference between buying, say, this hook, this Mustad Ultra Point, versus any of the other hooks on the market? I mean, does it really make a difference? You know, on the surface, not much, but we are the only company that's uh, been around for 200 years, and we still, to this day, extrude our metal in Norway. So hmm. we're the only company that actually control our carbon content and everything from the very start to the ending process. What does that mean to me as an angler in the long run, will it? road less or bend Well, less. that's up to you. The more carbon you put in the product, obviously, the sharper you can make it, but it also the faster it corrodes, right? So the more carbon is just a matter of physics. You just can't change that. So we can actually control the carbon content in our stuff from the beginning. So our saltwater hooks can be a little more uh, rust resistant and our freshwater hooks gonna be sharper. That's just the way it is. I got you, okay. Yeah. Cool stuff. Folks, I hope that helps you figure out what hooks to choose when you go out live baiting or chumming for rockfish this season. Good luck.